High quality databases are critical to optimize drug development because they provide the foundation to identify and deal with uncertainty. And the more you're able to decrease uncertainty by understanding variability, the more you're going to be making more informed decisions, and that's going to essentially transform how you develop drugs, especially in rare diseases. The tools that can be built with uh, quality data are exactly the tools that help you decrease uncertainty. So being able to understand how disease progresses and what are the different subpopulations that progress at different rates and with different clinical patterns are only going to be able to be developed based on the integration of quality data. Understanding the drug effects and why certain subpopulations behave differently when they get exposed to certain drugs and also on being able to understand how the clinical trials would behave in those populations. How patients drop out of the studies depending on the design of the study, the entry criteria, etc. And also for the control arms, how the placebo response is going to be different depending on those sources of variability. Our DCA DAP is going to have several different capabilities for analysis to allow researchers to come at the data from many different angles. Being able to explore a single disease or multiple diseases that are linked with certain genetic uh, phenomena, for example, like imprinting, or being able to look at uh, specific endpoints that are used across different uh, rare diseases and then treat the diseases as another covariate in the model. All those angles of looking at the data are going to be provided by the interfaces that are going to be built around the high quality data that we look to integrate. A great case example of how the integration of relevant uh, data sets transform drug development uh, is in Alzheimer's disease and also in Parkinson's disease. In both diseases, we were able to provide the quantitative solutions to help industry understand how to best implement imaging markers to better select patients to run more efficient clinical trials. Five years from now, our DCA DAP, I think, is going to have a major impact in drug development for rare diseases. And it's going to fundamentally transform how people think about data collection in those conditions, both from an academic setting, a patient registry setting, but more importantly, drug development in clinical trials, and how to optimize the running of those trials with innovative ways of designing and conducting those trials that are going to be very specifically tailored to rare diseases so that drug development can be expedited in those conditions. The patient's role is going to be absolutely fundamental. It's foundational. Uh, the integration of data is critical to maximize the utility of the contribution of those individuals and their families with these conditions. The last thing those participants in those studies want to see is their data die with the primary analyses of those studies. A great way to provide added value and longevity to the contribution that those patients gave to, their, uh, to the sponsors in participating in clinical studies and also to the uh, academics and the, and the registries that they're part of is to be able to maximize the use of those data to generate solutions that will benefit generations of other patients that are gonna come after them.